they will find you, okay? Because unless you just got a real good way of disappearing, but your peace and your freedom is going to be compromised for what? So we don't need to just retrain these these um, these N words that the guy used that white people used to describe black people. You don't have to retrain them. You you categorizing them, cate categorizing them in a way where you don't need to because that is not the real problem. The real problem is that you don't understand what one plus one equals to two really means. You don't understand that the information, when you look around the world, this earth, space, well, I don't know what's out there, but I'll just say here, with everything that you see, there's a connection. A car is a, a com is a complete, but it's made of parts. And these parts and these the whole car and they all have to work together. And when you go to school, they're not teaching you how to um, put together a solar system because they haven't they don't know. So they might be studying it, but they don't know. Okay, they're not teaching you how um, um, a um, molecule is created in a solar system that's that was destroyed trillions of years ago because they don't know. When you go into school, all they can teach you is the things that they know, and that is it. So what they're saying is, hey, you got this trigonometry problem, you got this square, you got this right angle, and we call it 90 degrees, but all it means is a, it's, a, it's just a line that's perfectly straight up, whatever that's supposed to mean, and perfectly horizontal and vertical. And where they meet, it's a 90 degree angle, and that's it. And you have to understand that. And they're, what they're doing is they're teaching you all of these things in just, you know, with the little words, and they combine them, and they... Um, they com they get complex and they combine them into one. They complex again. They combine them in one. Complex again. Become complex again. And they combine them in one. By combining them in one is is um, they give them new names, you know. And that's it. Um, you have five times three times three. No, no, three times three times three times three times three. So that's three times. Um, you got five times three, right? So three plus three plus three plus three. Well, three plus three plus three plus three plus three is what five threes. So, and that's what you see. And when you see five threes, what's going to happen? Your mind, ooh, my hands are ashy. Um, your mind is going to automatically put those things together. And you're going to have 15. But when you're writing on paper, and if you write 15, three times plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three, plus three blah, 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 it's just going to take too much time. So they construct, they, um, you know, just um, make it. Shorter, and that's it. So you have three fives, three fives, three, 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 three fives. What do you see? Three fives, and that's it. So that's just, um, you know, so you say, well, okay, instead of saying three five, three plus three plus three, plus three, whatever, then let's just multiply it. But what does the word multiply mean? I asked a friend that, and he couldn't even tell me. He gave me this long definition, and then when I told him, you know, he got mad at me. And I'm saying, you know, well, why don't you say it like this? I'm saying, hey, I don't know the limitations of your vocabulary. I don't know the limitations of your vocabulary. So I'm figuring if what does the word multiplication means, you know, and he said, well, why don't you tell me um, something else about, and I'm like, well, it's, they're all synonyms. I mean, you know, he, he got a bachelor's degree. I don't have one. So evidently he had to <laughs> write, you know, so I couldn't understand that, you know, so um, basically, it's, it's, when you go into school, they're not teaching you anything that they don't know. Everything that they're um, teaching you that you're learning in school, people already know is past, is history, is something that's been completed. And all you have to do is just understand the steps and understand the vocabulary. Because like they were saying before when they were doing Ebonics, the United States didn't want Ebonics to come in, which is coming in now, um, is they said that if you teach black kids the um, math in a language that they know and understand, they'll grasp it like that. And that's true. It really is true. But, um, you know, you got those super black superintendents in WCA and, other, and they complain and stuff when what should have happened was that um, the parents should have went and demanded that these kids learn um, 
everything they need to know math in the language that they understand it and then later they can use the nicknames and the nicknames are the formal names that they have in college you know and you said well that's the formal nickname jargon slang it doesn't matter you know because when you write when you meet someone who doesn't understand your language then you have symbols and everyone needs to learn the symbols and you don't even have to know the name of the symbols. You just have to know what the symbol means and you just write it and then somebody else will understand and then you can communicate. Oh, okay, this, 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 this. And you'll understand it. And there no words have no words have to be exchanged. So the whole point is that I'm trying to say so I can help me finish this thing so I can get back online because we've got a big argument right now. Is that um is that uh you don't understand why you're going to school or why you have to go to school. And it's not to get a job. It's not to get money. It's not to eat. It's not to drink. None of that stuff because you don't have to do any of that stuff. You're going to school and you're learning all that so that you can preserve your life and survive, protect yourself from natural disasters, to be able to go out and explore so you won't be limited to the um, planet. You can go on the, um, the, um, the sea and the earth itself and go out to space and things like that. The whole thing is you learn because you have to expand. You have to expand because that's all we're doing. We just expand and expand until we can't get expand no more. Then poof, you know, we die or whatever. So the problem in the black neighborhood is not the white man. It's not white racism. It's not the police. It's not the government. It's not drugs. It's not a black woman. It's not um, the black man. It's not bad kids. It's not taxes. It's none of that stuff. The problem in the hood is that you don't understand. And the only reason you don't understand is because you are not taking the time to comprehend something that's already been developed. And then because they're, they're not going to teach you right away how to put. I mean, they can. I mean, there are some people who have that intelligence where they can say hey you know um this is how you do a computer program they show a six-year-old like there was this um article i saw this girl i think she was six between six and nine and could do com programs and and you know and i don't know um whether the experiment was to teach a black person or a black girl or a girl or a kid or something or i think it was more or less just it, it was just shown the fact that anyone can understand these language and so the people who were experienced didn't believe it. And so they thought it was a joke because of their limited thinking and stuff. Then they um, asked her to do certain things and she did it. And they were like really surprised. And that's like how, you know, um, they were saying like black people are dumb and don't do this and blah, 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 that. You know, then the people who don't really actually go and talk to a black person, you know, they'll just believe their, their teacher, their, their parents or whatever, because those are the people that are there. You know, and they're not thinking, hey, let me go verify this stuff myself. And then they'll believe it. And then when they, um, something comes to contradict it, then they're like, oh, wow, you know, well, I don't believe it. you got to prove it. Then we prove it. They're like, bam, you know, my parents lied to me. And then, and then, and, and what's going to happen is this whole void is going to just create in their minds. And it happens with us too. So basically, all I'm saying is that you don't need to. Um, re-educate black people or educate black people about white racism or whatever because when somebody comes at you it don't matter who they are you have the net it's, you don't even have a right it ain't even you your body is going to defend itself and it doesn't need you to voluntarily tell it to do this and do that it's going to do it automatically you know i don't know how Maybe it's the melanin in you or God in you or with the higher level you or whatever. But when somebody punch, you're going to automatically do this. Bam. When you feel danger or see danger, you're going to avoid it. Okay. And you're going to stop it. So 
all these laws that they have and stuff is just really ridiculous because they don't really um what it is these laws are that control they're trying to control it so um, and that's basic with these laws are, but they can't really control anything but they can control certain individuals and certain things and because um they have the resources and the resources are those police officers and your parents and the drugs and the crime and the misinformation, the disinformation, blah, 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 and the conflict and blah, 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 and stuff like that. And the whole thing is when you, you know, it's funny because I talked to some of these, um, some brothers and stuff, and I said, it's kind of funny how um, black people created mathematics and yet black people say they hate math and they can't math, do math. You know, you're like, what are the answers? It's doing like, oh my God. With these idiots, you know, just look at the papers, just right, it's right there in front of your face. So, um, if you want to fix your life, then what you have to do is you have to stop, look around, and see what's there. Sure, I'm not saying you can't, um, you can build your own car, I'm not saying you, you, you don't need a job, and I'm not saying that. You're going to have to function because I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter what's going on. if. United States, as a, if we as a people who live in this country don't work together, if we have an enemy that's going to come in here, then are we going to are we going to defend ourselves to def, our, and to not just defend ourselves but to crush the enemy, or are we going to split up and some people are going to help the enemy? Because once the, if once the enemy wins, then what are they going to do? Oh, I helped you so what, bam. You know, I helped you so what, bam. Okay, just like what happened, I think, in England and, and um, what was it, Finland or something? Norway. You know, they asked the people to come down and help. They came down, and French-speaking people, they came down and helped the English, and then they realized that, hey, you know, this is better than our home. So they stayed and took over, and, you know, that's where you got dent, dental, French, and all of this stuff. So um, all I can say is that I explained this go back watch the videos I got a lot of uh, videos you you don't have a problem a real major problem if you want to help yourself then you need to understand what's going on everything that they are teaching you is based on history and a lot of things that we're learning in the United States is based off of white people history but even more than white people history it's usually Jewish history you know, and you could just look at the names, you know, and also Jewish names. And I'm not saying that it's bad or anything because they the ones that went overseas and they the ones that um, took notes and everything, you know, built this. And then they, you know, under their program, why should they teach African studies when, you know, they want to teach themselves first? And that's logical. If you want to study African studies, then you get on a plane and go over there and talk to the Africans. Or you go over there and you talk. And that's why when brothers travel, I say travel... You go, when you travel, you take a lot, you take cameras, you get a whole bunch of gigabytes and everything, and you come to Japan or wherever you go, and you start snapping pictures of everything. You talk to the people. Don't come out, don't travel trying to have sex with them girls. Don't do that. You're wasting your time, okay? As a black man, you do not have to chase a woman. A woman will come after you, period. That's it. No matter what these PUAs saying. You don't have to chase a woman for sex. They will come to you, okay? And um, um, you go over there, you take pictures, you ask somebody, hey, what is this? What's the history of, of it? You know, you can write it down and record it. Make sure you keep everything organized. You come back here, you publish a book, and that book is going to be updated history information about that um, place or the, whatever it is where you're at. And you can publish those books and those books can be used in college and they will call they will present you as some kind of professor or professional because they're not a lot of people are not going to ask how deep you went but you went over there and you were able to experience and and just the experience and talking to people really helps so oh my god 30 seconds this is it listen controlled ideas controlled thoughts have no um real equations to them stop interjecting your um trying to equate your feelings to these thoughts because when you do you're going to make a mistake okay how do you get rid of that just jump up and down 20 times and it'll go away i'm out peace